Hello everyone! So I am beyond excited to be bringing you this video today because it is going to be a rhetoric a tutorial, a tutorial showing you um, the M by Michelle Phan products that I have reviewed previously. That video should already be up now and then this is the tutorial showing you guys the products in action just in case you are curious as to see like what looks you can come up with. This is just one look out of many looks you could do and it's particularly using the Holiday Life New Year's countdown palette and it just looks like this as you're going to see in the tutorial I use everything in this palette from the eyeshadows to the lip color to the um blush in here so really excited to bring you this look this is what I come in, came up with and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous I love it I know we are moving out of winter and into spring but I still and the type of person who, even if it is spring and you're supposed to wear bright pastel colors or whatever, I still love to rock a nice warm fall look every now and then. So I never pay attention to like the color trends and I just wear whatever my little heart desires. So this is the look that I am doing for you guys today. It's a gorgeous cranberry golden look and um, we have cranberry in the crease as well on as on our cheeks with the gorgeous blush that was in the palette. I absolutely love it and we are rocking a not too dark berry kind of look. I went ahead and topped it off with a little bit of a pinky gloss which you will go ahead and see and yeah so pretty much everything I think I used came out of the palette except for the lip gloss but I go ahead and let you guys know that. And I will have everything that I used listed down below so you can have really easy access to it. And yeah, if you guys would like to see how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. So I've already went ahead and primed my eyelids using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And I put it from my lid to my brow bone. And I ran a little bit, whatever was left on my finger, I ran underneath my lower lash line. Just because we are going to be applying some color down there. So to get this started, I'm just grabbing my... Holiday Life New Year's Countdown Edition um, palette from M by Michelle Fawn. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this color right here. It's the lightest color in the... I'm trying not to blind you guys. It's the lightest color in the palette, and we're just going to go ahead, and I like to apply shades like this um, with my ring finger. I just like to grab it on. And this shade in particular, it's kind of like chunky like it's not chalky but it's definitely like a chunky eyeshadow so I totally prefer um, applying this with my um, ring finger and we're just gonna go ahead and pat that on a little bit at first and then just rub it in and as you can see it does have a little bit of fallout it's definitely not as smooth as some of the other colors um, in the palettes but it still makes a really pretty shimmery base color so I'm just gonna go ahead and build that up until you get the color that you like now taking this beautiful cranberry color we're just gonna go ahead and apply that onto our crease brush and apply it to the crease of our lid and we're gonna go ahead and focus mostly on the outer two-thirds of our eye we're not gonna go ahead and drag we don't want the most concentrated color to go all the way into our lid so into the inner corner so we're just gonna go ahead and concentrate this mostly on the outer third and outer two-thirds of the eye and we're gonna do a combination of windshield wiper motions as well as little circular motions just to really blend that in. Now taking an angled eyeshadow brush, this is just the Sedona Lace 407 brush. We're going to take this gorgeous gold color right here and we're just going to apply that a little bit into the outer third of our eye as well as work it into the crease just a little bit. And that way there's a nice little transition of the gold to the cranberry from the light gold to the medium gold to the cranberry color and it just adds a little extra something to the look so you just don't have like gold and then cranberry eyes and it warms it up a bit so if you're fair and kind of pale like I am it doesn't look like your eyes are red and sick kind of looking so I really like adding this gold color. And this one we're just getting right there in the crease. 
Now for liner, I'm just taking this brow brush. I know it says brow on it, but this is just a really stiff um, angled liner brush, I guess you could say. And I believe I got this in a BH cosmetics brush set but I already have a brow brush that I like to use so this one is actually really good um, for liner so I'm going to take this dark brown shimmery color and this has chunky glitter in it which I'm not particularly fond of but it honestly I feel like you can't even really see the glitter once you apply it on I think it just kind of just falls off all over the place and you're really gonna just get mostly um, this brown color so since this is a bit um, dark of a color and there is a little bit of fallout you go ahead and tap your brush off first and that will help reduce the amount that you get when you're lining your eyes and we're just going to work this really really close to the lash line and we're going to take it all the way into the inner corner to really just accentuate the shape of our eye I know tugging on my eyelashes, well, my eyeball is like the worst thing in the world that I can do, but I just cannot line my lashes any other way. So if you can do it, do not tug on your lashes. Then with a flat smudger brush, I'm just taking this one right here from e.l.f. We're going to go ahead and take that dark brown color again, ever so slightly. Tap off any excess and then go ahead and line, I would say, about two thirds of your lower lash line. Really concentrating the corner on the outside, the outer third of the lid, connecting it with where we kind of made our wing just so there's a nice um, shape to the eye and they connect. And yeah. Oh, why, hello, my little doggy came to visit. Hi, Bella. Come here. Say hi to Bella, everyone. Look at her. She doesn't really like this. Are you camera shy? What are you doing? Look at her. Isn't she the cutest? Hi, Bella. You want to sit with me while I do my makeup? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get in the way. But yes, this is my little doggy. Like, what are you doing to me? I don't like being on camera. Isn't she the cutest? Yes, you are. So yeah, that's Bella, everyone. Okay, I'll let you go now. Now to learn the... Learn. Now to line the inner one-third of our eye, I'm taking the... M Waterliner Intense Color and I went ahead and actually got this in my Ipsy bag one month but it's a really pretty shimmery like gold color but I just feel like it does not look good on my waterline like at, at all. I just feel like it goes on nicely but just when you actually look at it in your waterline the way it catches the light makes it look really really patchy. So I'm just going to go ahead, I prefer to use this for like a eyeliner or like a base if I really wanted to. I've never actually used it as a base, but um, mostly I just use it for lower lash line liner or if I just want to brighten up the inner corner of my eye, which is what we are going to do here. And we're just going to line all that space that we didn't with the um, brown. So all that empty space, we're gonna go ahead and line that into the inner corner a little bit and then once you've done that, the other side of the liner um, has a little smudger brush, so um, you can go ahead and just blend that out a little bit, just so it's not harsh and everything blends nicely. And there you go. You are all done with all of your shadows. And now we are just going to go ahead and move on to mascara. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this just because it takes, you know, a lot of time. And you guys have seen me do my mascara a lot. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what two mascaras I'm using. I'm using my Lash Out Butterfly first, which I love for really nice length and separation of the lashes. And then to really darken them up and give them a little bit more volume, I'm going in with the Maybelline, the Rocket Mascara. And curling my lashes with just my e.l.f. eyelash curler. Now for blush, we are taking this gorgeous, absolutely stunning plum blush color, and I am using that with my Tarte um, 
I'm not exactly sure what kind of brush this is, but it has a nice taper to it as well as like a slight angle. So it's really good for contouring and for blush. I use it mostly for blush since I found my perfect contouring brush um, from Sedona Lace. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and take that right there on the tip and place that into the color countdown. Tap off any excess just because this is a really dark color. So if you're fair as me, um, you don't want to have a heavy hand by any means. And then we are just going to smile to find the apples of our cheeks. And then just brush it all the way back. With a really light hand. Last but not least for lips, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips in this color called Plum by NYX. Just because for me, I don't really have like defined lips and my lips aren't even my bottom lip is bigger than my top lip so I don't know I just feel like lining my lips really just puts the final touches on wearing a lipstick and I just I don't know I prefer it I rarely very rarely unless I'm in a super rush will put lipstick on or lip color on without lining them first For my lip color, I'm using the lipstick or the lip color that comes in this um, palette. And it's called, what is this called? It's called Sparkling Punch. So I'm going to go ahead and take that on a lip brush. And here I'm just using my Real, Tex Real Techniques one. I'm just going to load the product up on that. And then just brush it on. And since my lips are pretty dry for whatever reason, even though I've been sitting here for over an hour with like a lip gloss, like a moisturizing lip balm on, um, to conceal some of that dryness, because since it is a dark color, it's going to go ahead and adhere to that. I'm just taking my Juice Beauty, the organic solution. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and this is just in the color pink, just because I want a little more of a pinkier lip. Um. This isn't like a super pigmented gloss by any means, but when it hits the light you do get a little bit of like that pink to it, so it's actually quite pretty. However, like the taste and everything of it, uh, I'm not a fan of. And with that final top coat of lip gloss, you are all set and ready to go. I hope you all really enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if you would like to see more. I really enjoyed filming this for you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching and definitely check out my review video on all of the products that I do have so far from her makeup line and if you would like to see more videos using this palette, my other palette that I have, or just any makeup tutorials in general, definitely leave me your requests below. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to talk to you in my next video. Bye!